Peace and blessings, family. Peace and blessings. This is your brother, Sean Ali, here at Supreme Health and Fitness by Sean Ali. And as always, I thank each and every one of you for tuning in with me and giving me some of your valuable time. And as always, I pray that this brief message is received in the spirit that I'm striving to deliver it in, which is the spirit of your brother, the spirit of love, and of course, and always in the spirit and in the name of God. This is a brief message on the importance of beginning our day with self-love. That's right, yes, listen. This message is on the science of love and how you and I use self-love to propel us into healing, to motive to propel us and imbue us with life and to allow us to successfully enjoy our abundant life and if we look at love we look at the chemicals and hormones that are associated with love set the foundation for our ability to heal and be strong for our ability to be balanced and that without love we create an imbalance that can manifest symptoms that mimic diseases and symptoms so listen when we deal with love you have hormones oxytocin is considered the main hormone of love but you also have vasopressin you have adrenaline, you have testosterone and estrogen, you have vasopressin, you have nerve growth factors, you have these elements are involved with love. But unfortunately, many of us do not have reciprocating factors for our love. This means that we don't have someone to say i love you too and we don't have someone to say i love you back so we miss out on that energy on that life energy from love and when we look at scripture scripture says god is love so when we have the absence of love we literally have the absence of god so in similarly when you have the presence of love, you have the presence of God. So look, now because we don't have that reciprocating factor, and a lot of us, we aren't brought up in or raised in loving environments. So a lot of us, we don't become introduced to the concepts and to the actions of love. So, Psychology says when we look at ourselves, how we see ourselves is how we see others, that we are reflections of each other. Now, many of us, because we are not brought up in love, that when we see our own reflection, many of us well first and foremost your eyesight will go to one of two things when you see your reflection your eyesight will go to that which you love most about yourself or it will go to that which you hate most about yourself that's where your first look will go when you see your reflection unfortunately many of us have been trained to focus on that which we hate most about ourselves. So when we see our reflection, oh, I hate my hair, I hate my eyes, I hate my nose, I hate my lips, I hate my teeth, I hate my skin. We, the first eyesight is on that which we hate most about ourselves. See, we don't focus on that which I love most about ourselves first. And this says this is a look in the condition of that person's mind. And it goes to whether we have self-love or not. So now the 
when we're looking at the hormones of love, see, they have a basis for how you produce these hormones and these energies and actions of love, right? So now this is for those that don't have, if you have a partner, this is good too. But if you don't have a partner, see, if you don't have a reciprocating factor for your awesome, great love, and you want to still get the benefits from being in love, you still want to get the benefits from the actions of love. God is love. So the best way for us to make manifest God is to produce love. But if you don't have a factor, a reciprocating factor for your love to create it, fall in love with yourself. That's right. Fall in love with yourself. Listen, this is the how to manifest love right? These seven, seven easy steps on how to make manifest love. Number one, make eye contact, right? Number two, smile. Number three, hug. Number four, hold hands. Number five, kiss. Number six, dance. And number seven, you say, I love you. See, now, look, see, so if you don't have a partner to make eye contact with, see, if you don't have a partner to smile to, if you don't have a partner to hug, if you don't have a partner to hold hands with, if you don't have a partner to dance with, and if you don't have a reciprocating factor, to say, I love you too, then you do it with yourself. See, because these are the steps in how we create love with someone. So you, if you don't have that, but you still want to create love, then you do these seven steps with yourself. That's right. Get yourself a mirror. Look, get yourself a mirror. Get yourself a mirror. Look at your reflection. And as you are looking at your reflection, smile to yourself. Man. Mm. Make eye contact with yourself. And as you are making eye contact, focus on that which you love most about yourself and compliment it. Man, your hair looks good. Man, your skin is smooth. Man, look at your beautiful brown eyes. Look at your beautiful nose and lips and see, make eye contact. Smile. These are the steps of creating love, whether it's with two people or with yourself. You have to like what you are loving. You have to appreciate what you are loving. You have to be able to look at, to make eye contact with what you are loving and if you can't love yourself how can you love someone else so listen as you are making eye contact with your reflection and you are smiling your beautiful smile to yourself right now you get into the hugging see give yourself a hug man look embrace yourself Especially if you have went through the day and nobody has hugged you. Hug yourself. Give yourself some love. Hold your hand. See, look, man, listen to me. When you, when you are in this action, right? When you are in the action of creating love, these hormones, they have actions inside of you. See, so when you are looking at yourself when you are making eye contact and smiling this is considered the attraction stage of love so when you are looking at yourself and you are making eye contact with the thought of love see you produce adrenaline see you produce dopamine you produce serotonin you produce testosterone and estrogen. You produce neuropronephrine. 
See, and now these hormones have jobs. The adrenaline gives you energy. So when you look at yourself and you smile and you make eye contact with yourself, you, your body, your hypothalamus will signal your pituitary gland to secrete adrenaline. Listen, and you'll get that boost of energy and that focus. It'll get your body to produce dopamine. See, dopamine is that happy pill that's dealing with your sanity. See, that's what most drugs hit that dopamine part of your brain. See, and it produces that sanity. You can make yourself satisfied. You can make yourself feel good. See, now you got, after the dopamine, you got serotonin. You can, serotonin is the peace that deals with your mood and your balance. You can look at yourself and smile and cause your brain to produce serotonin. Listen, it will cause your hypothalamus to activate your pituitary gland to cause your body to start to secrete produce and secrete serotonin. Do you need some serotonin in your life? See, these are the ingredients of love. This is the science of love. But if you don't have someone to love, if you don't have a reciprocating factor, you don't have to miss out. You fall in love with yourself. Listen, this is the attraction stage. So if you was to be looking at a, your significant other, right? This is the attraction stage. But if you don't have someone in attracting power or an attracting factor, you fall and attract yourself. And you will allow yourself from the smiling and eye contact, you will cause your body to produce adrenaline, dopamine, serotonin, testosterone, and estrogen, and norepinephrine. See, norepinephrine is a, another hormone that's similar to dopamine. It deals with your mental and your sanity and your spiritual balance and mood. It helps give you strength. See, so the more your body is producing these, the more elements that you have in your body of God, because love is God. So when you produce the action of love, these are the hormones that your body produces. These are the hormones of God because love is God. See, so now once you get past the attraction stage, see, now you get to the attachment. See, so you go from the attraction to the attachment. This is the hugging the holding hands and the kissing. So when you hug yourself, when you hold your hands, when you kiss yourself, see, it, it, it causes your body to produce oxytocin. It causes your body to produce vasopressin. It causes your body to produce nerve growth factors. And oxytocin, Remember, that's the main, considered the main hormone of love. That's when it's produced predominantly because we don't grow up in a loving environment. We don't grow up being taught about love. So most of the time, oxytocin is produced when a mother is in labor or is pregnant. And she creates that bond with the baby of pure love. And that's the hormone, that pure hormone of God. But listen to me. It's, the, it's a hormone of contact. See, when you become in, and you embrace your loved one, it causes your body to produce oxytocin, vasopressin, and nerve growth factors. And it causes you to create an attachment for that person. So this is how you create an attraction and an attachment for yourself.
See, listen now. See, you hug yourself. You hold your hand. You kiss yourself. And you will produce the oxytocin, the vasopressin, and the nerve growth factors. And you will begin, not only will you have energy for life, but you will grow an attachment for yourself. What would this do? This will cause you to love yourself. This will cause you to eat better, to exercise better. This will cause you to become healthy and to want to extend your life so that you can enjoy it. And since love is God, when you find and express love of yourself, you find the God that's in you. Man, <laughs> listen, listen. So, oxytocin is the primary hormone of love now without love right without love the only way your body can produce oxytocin is with anger fear and anxiety see because we met so now your body was created to love because God is love and we are the image and likeness of God. So our bodies and mind and spirit were created to function in the frequency of love. When you and I cannot produce love, in order for our bodies to secrete or produce and secrete oxytocin, it has to produce anger, fear, and anxiety to make it because that's the similar frequency that causes the production of oxytocin so when you and i lack love when we lack self-love because you don't need somebody around you to love you love yourself and you can produce all of the hormones so when we don't have love of self we we don't uh, when we are absent of love our bodies will produce will make you it will make you create a situation of anger fear anxiety to get the same hormones that you would get from love so not only will you love yourself and become healthy you will literally save yourself <clears throat> so family listen the science and the importance of self-love. From the act of love, we have studied love and we know that in the act of love, it produces chemicals and hormones that our bodies need. That in the act of love, you produce adrenaline, dopamine, vasopressin, norepinephrine, you produce nerve growth factors. You produce testosterone and estrogen. You produce the things that make you a woman and you produce the things that make you a man. But you also produce the things that make you God because God is love. So when you love yourself, the chemicals from love are the chemicals of God. So you turn and create yourself into the God that you are. Yeah. Because when you fear, see, when you don't have love, your body has to produce anger and fear and anxiety to get the same energy. And now that's not God. That's the opposite of God. God is love, not fear. God is love, not anger. God is love, not anxiety. You are God. You are created to seek love. But when you don't know how to love, then you're, you've turned to anger, fear, and anxiety. So this is the importance of self-love. Man, activating your God force and power. Why? Because God has dominion over everything. And you were given that dominion plug into your power all god has to do is say be and it becomes and you are god this is how you get that power to create 
to build, to be. So family, I thank you for tuning in, giving me some of your valuable time. Remember the hormones of love. Love is an action that produces hormones in two primary stages, the attraction stage and the attachment stage. And if you don't have an external source to help you produce love, you can do it with yourself. You can produce the love that you need with yourself. There are seven easy steps to producing love. Number one, make eye contact. Number two, you smile. Number three, you hug. Number four, hold hands. Look, number five, a kiss. Number six is dancing. Woo! Number seven, saying, I love you. This is the attraction stage. This is the attachment stage. And when you get to the part where you are in love with somebody and you say, I love you, you make a total manifestation of love. You make a total manifestation of God. You make a total manifestation of life and you become unstoppable. You become powerful. You become able to say be and you can watch it become clear. That's how powerful you are. Thank you for tuning in, family. Thank you for giving me some of your valuable time. Remember, if you don't have a reciprocating factor to do these steps of love. Get yourself a mirror. Mm. Make eye contact with yourself. Smile to yourself, right? Hug yourself. Mm. Hold your own hands. Kiss yourself. Listen, dance with yourself. And then say to yourself, I love you. Woo -hoo 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 -hoo. Whoa. Whoa. Watch how powerful you become. Man, family, if nobody has told you that they love you, if you don't have that factor in your life where somebody can honestly say to you, I love you, please accept from your brother, my brotherly, humble love. I love you. I see the God in you. No, I don't love everybody, but I love my people because my people are the people of God. You are stronger than anything you can encounter. If you love yourself, believe in yourself and know that you are God, you become unstoppable and able to accomplish any and everything. You already have. So family, go conquer your day. Create your heaven and set yourself in it at once. I leave you as I came. The greeting words of peace. Salam alaikum. Hotel. Black power. Power to the people. Peace.